let's plug some numbers into function composition. So we're going to start right here with example 9a. Now remember, I usually prefer to write it like that. And I really like this because it kind of shows you an order. Remember, if you think order of operations, you always want to do the inside first, inside the parentheses, then move outward. So anytime you want to do function composition with numbers, you're going to do two steps. The first step is to solve the inside, f of 1. Well, we know how to do that. We do f with our big fat parentheses and plug a 1 in for the x. If I simplify this, I get 1 squared minus 4 is negative 3. Now what I'm going to do is when I do the g part, this is the answer that goes inside the g part. And this is how it works every time. So I want g of negative 3. So now I do my g function with parentheses everywhere there's an x and plug my negative 3 in because that's what I'm plugging into the g. So 2 minus negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Square root of 0 is just 0. So final answer is 2. So let's try this on one more. f of g of 1. So first step is to find g of 1. That's my inside. So I take my g function and I plug 1 into it. That's my g of 1. Let's solve this. I get 2 minus square root of 4, which is 2 minus square root of 4 is 2, so 2 minus 2 is 0. And that is what I will plug in to the, oops, sorry, the outer function, which in this case the outside function is f. So I take this 0 and plug it in. And I want to do f of 0. So now I have my f function. And now I'm plugging in 0 for the x's. So 0 squared minus 4 times 0 is just 0. So with that, I would like you to pause the video and try doing C on your own. Do the two steps, G of G of 6. So find the inner one first, G of 6, and then plug that in to the outer one. Ready, go. Let's see how you did. So I started with G of 6, did my G function, parentheses wherever X is, and plugged in 6. That gave me 2 minus square root of 9. Square root of 9 is 3, so 2 minus 3 is negative 1. And I plugged that negative 1 into the outer function, and the outer function is still also a G. So now I want G of negative 1, so I have my G function and plug negative 1 in for X. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2, so my final answer is 2 minus square root of 2. So that is function or evaluating function composition with numbers. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to do this using a graph or a table instead of just by hand with equations.